We're celebrating 160 years here at Wheaton Academy. I think that's just phenomenal. Wheaton Academy came first. <laughs> Uh, and the college came afterwards. It was called Wheaton College Academy, actually, at that time, because it was connected to Wheaton College. I think when we started here, the fact that it was a boarding school, too, it throws you together more and in every aspect of your life. It's so many opportunities to develop relationships. It was much smaller, but it was, it was very much family. I think the culture here is a mixture of optimism, acceptance, and love held by this big concept of Christianity. The first thing that struck me was it was a beautiful campus. It was fall. Uh, this was, uh, there weren't many buildings here then as there are today. There was the chapel and the main building and uh, the original gym and uh, a lot of beautiful trees that just made fall here magical. These homecomings and these reunions, I oh, mean, you just, they're, they're so wonderful because they get together and, and it's, uh, it's relationships. Still today, some of my very, very best friends are from the Academy days. Well, Wheaton Academy will always be really special to me uh, because of, of the spiritual growth that I experienced w while I was here. And it's affected really every area of my life. And uh, what a great foundation I got with the, with the chapel services we had and, the, and the, the people that I got to know, the teachers that we had here, just amazing people. Developing relationships with these teachers and being like held accountable by them spiritually and just being surrounded by believers in general is something that's had more of an impact on me than I could describe. For me personally, what makes Wheaton Academy special is the teacher-student relationships. I think the Academy's emphasis on excellence is an ingredient that, you, that I took in as I left the Academy and just followed me through life is to, to be the best you can in whatever you're doing. We had superb chapel speakers. We were exposed to superb, challenging teaching. A huge thing is the chapels that happen every week. Um, hearing those and applying those have been really influential on me. This is a special place for many reasons, but it was foundational. That notion that, that faith and learning, that faith and reason belong together and, and should uh, reinforce and uh, nourish each other, uh, that began here. I took chemistry with Mr. Mack and that really got me um, really into science. So then I interned at Fermilab and that seeing science in the real world, that was really amazing. I never cease to be amazed at what God is doing in this place. Wheaton Academy has not rejected its formation, its f formative years, its principles, and its commitment to developing future leaders. Yeah, who, who love the Lord and want to serve Him. They've never, they've never wavered from that. Todd was a neat kid. He spent three years here, and God used Todd in a real powerful way. For those of you who remember uh, the events of 9-11, Todd was in that flight, and he used that famous line, let's roll a piece of the story that should be told how the Academy fits into this. David uh, Beamer, Todd's dad, he made an interesting statement and he said, Todd was who he was because he walked these halls. He was who he was because he was on the fields. He became the man he was and he was able to make that sacrifice. We were PSL champions, and we hadn't been a champion in decades. I was the basketball coach and athletic director at the time, and so the kids gave me this team ball, and each one of them signed it. There's Todd Beamer's signature right there. Todd's fingerprints are on this ball. And um, just like Wheaton Academy's fingerprints were on Todd. What makes Wheaton Academy so much different than other schools, I can't really think of any other schools that have a reputation for being about God, but is the only school that you look at that school and you say, whoa, there's something very different about that school. The reason that the school has, uh, has endured, has grown, has 
prospered to this date is uh, two things. God's providence in his plans for the school, and number two, the faithfulness of the people who, are, who um, were in charge of overseeing the school. 160 years in my judgment, and when you wrap it all up, it's because God still sees a purpose for this institution and wants it to be here and wants it to flourish. I am excited that Wheaton Academy has kept the same mission since 1853, founded on biblical principles and a mission statement that I think is still reflected in nurturing growth in young people through relationships, excellence, and service, all to the glory of God. Relationships, that has never changed, the relationship to Jesus and um, building that in young people. Um, excellence, we've always defined excellence as people being their best, not just the best, and that does change from generation to generation. What does it take? be your best in a changing world. And being excellent, our kids will have a chance to impact that world for Christ. And that's service. And that's sending these kids out in the 21st century, being their very best, gifted as God has given them with relationship to Jesus Christ that will make a difference. And we see that as being God's unfolding story here at Wheaton Academy.